something fishy is really going on here. But then again, I don't want to give a conspiracy theory because truthfully, honestly, this all pretty much goes back to um, PC or whoever it is just being tacky as usual. So this is a picture of Kyrie Irving right here. And as you already know, I've done a video about Russell Westbrook um, when someone, a fan threw popcorn on him. I did one about Trey Young where a fan spit at or on him. Now we are at Kyrie Irving where a fan threw a water bottle at him. And they did find the fan who did it and he was arrested and escorted out. I'm going to put a picture of him up in a little bit. He was uh, a PC man wearing a Kevin Garnett jersey. And this happened in Boston. You know, uh, Brooklyn was playing the Celtics. I'm not surprised this happened in Boston. Boston is one of the most racist places in America. It's literally like the Jim Crow of the North. Like that whole area right there is what it reminds me of. But um, Kyrie Irving basically came out and he made a statement. And he said, fans are treating the players like they're in a human zoo after the latest incident. And mind you, this is the third incident so far within the last week that I've talked about. So let's go ahead and get into it. Brooklyn Nets guard Kyrie Irving says some fans are treating the players like they're in a human zoo. And ironically, all three of the players, including himself, happen to be uh, black or black identif identified. After a spectator was arrested for throwing a water bottle at the NBA star on Sunday, the incident came as Irving was walking off the court, having helped the Nets beat the Boston Celtics 141 to 126 at the TD Garden with the bottle narrowly missing his head. It's unfortunate that sports has come to a lot of this kind of crossroads when you're seeing a lot of always come up. He told reporters after the game, you would, you would think that these fans <clears throat> would have a lot more sense considering that, they are just coming back in these arenas post Wuvit pandemic quarantine of last year with some sense. But no, they're still acting and ass like they always know how to do. Like popcorn, the water bottle, the spitting, the spitting right there. That's like that's really crossing the line for me. Adam Silver and his uh, alien looking self, he needs to do something, but they're not going to. Because like I said in my previous video about Trey Young, it's all about the money. And he's, if these are season ticket holders, then they're really not going to do nothing. Because they need they they want those seats back. So you got to think, they lost a lot of money last year. And, by, and the thing is, by them not doing anything, you're just simply allowing the fans to continue getting away with anything. I'm just awaiting the time when they get ready to do something to LeBron. Because you already know what's coming. You know that the, that the masses have a, uh, have a hard on against him. As it is. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. It's been that way in history in terms of entertainment, performers, and sports for a long period of time. Just underlying racism and just treating people like they're in a human zoo. Throwing stuff at people and saying things is a certain point where it gets to be too much. People just feel very entitled out here. A Boston Celtics fan was arrested and received a lifetime ban from the TDR, and that's not enough to just arrest and simply ban. They need to be charged with something because that could have been seen as attempted assault. Like, what if that thing actually connected? We don't even know, like, how heavy that water bottle was or what type of water bottle it was. That could have did some damage. A guest was arrested by Boston police at the end of, the, end of tonight's Boston Celtics game for throwing an object. At TD Garden, spokesperson said in a statement, We will support and provide assistance to Boston police as this incident is under review. We have zero tolerance for violations of our guest code of conduct and the guest is subjected to a lifetime ban from TD Garden. Earlier in the week, three NBA teams indefinitely banned fans from incidents in which attendees exhibited unruly and outright disrespectful behavior toward players. They paid for their tickets. Great. I'm grateful that they're coming in to watch a great performance. Urban continued. But we're not at the theater. We're not throwing tomatoes and other random stuff at people at, that are performing. It just becomes too much. And it is. And I'm glad that the players are speaking up, but the thing is, the higher ups have to do something because the players can only say something. They can't actually do something. Well, they, it is something that they could do, but I don't know if they're ready to do that just yet. But as far as the higher ups, they definitely should do or implement something. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the picture of the person that was uh, who, who um, threw the bottle. 
That's him right there. This uh fan, whatever, wearing the Kevin Garnett jersey being escorted out by the police. He was the one that threw the bottle. Now, you can't see his face, but you can see the back of that head and that neck. So we already know. Par for the course. So he got mad because your team lost. It just seems to me like that's what he was upset about. But he probably thought he wasn't going to get caught either. But yeah, these fans, like, they they are too emboldened. And like Kyrie said, they're too entitled to do what it is that they do. Like, just pay to see the game, watch the game, be entertained. If your team loses, oh, well, it happens. It wouldn't be the first time Boston lost. And you know, uh, I say it wouldn't be the first or the last time that they lost. But like I said, I've heard Boston fans are something else. Like, Philly fans are crazy. Boston fans are crazier. But, um, yeah. Yeah, these fans definitely, they need to have boundaries. There's something called boundaries, and unfortunately, it seems to me like they don't have many. Or they're going to have to implement something where they cannot be in a certain area while the players are getting ready to go in and out of that tunnel. Because notice that two of these incidents happened in the tunnel. With Russell Westbrook, the person threw the popcorn down while he was walking through the tunnel. The water bottle when he's when Kyrie was walking through the tunnel. Now with Trey Young, that happened right there while he was on the court. But um, yeah, I just wanted to bring this story to your attention. Y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.